All right, YouTube. Let me kind of walk up here and show you what we got going on today. It's been a while since I've been over here on this project. Look at this project. We got uh, a few stumps we got to get out. Pretty good sized stump down here we got to get out. A couple stumps. I like to cleared some more trees. Figure out how to get out. Get down here. <clears throat> yeah, I cleared a lot of trees out. That's some big old stumps down here. Right there's a big one right there we got to get out. I'll get into that today maybe. Got one in there behind it. That there's about rotten. I think Rick's ground some down in here. He's he's already ground some of them. Got some down in there. Got one or two over here. Let me try to figure out which be the best way to come in. And go around that way, I guess. Let me, uh, let me go down here and get the grinder. See what we got going on. Right, folks you can see me grinding on this stump right here um, when I got started on that stump up on that that one that's laid over you can you can kind of see me grinding fast in that thing on them clips right before that a lot of that right there is dirt I'm just grinding at an angle in there and trying to get that dirt off of them off of them roots then I moved down on that other stump because this thing kind of on a hill you can't see it but it's kind of on a hill we had to move some of them chips out of the way but you can hear that old grinder in there uh, kind of a thug sound when that when them things is hollering you in the dirt you in some some loose roots and stuff you can you can hear the difference in the in the uh, the grinding wheel and it, it grinds a whole lot easier just like right there you you can see that that kind of that's kind of holler right there because I'm taking big chunks at a time if that thing was solid it I wouldn't be able to grind that fast with that grinder that that grinder is not a, a big powerful grinder it's about a I don't know 35 36 horsepower machine and it does pretty good with sharp teeth on it but in these these, these old stuff they've been they've been down for about two years we looked at this thing about two years ago it's a buddy of mine and we've been kind of working on this project trying to get it started and he had some more trees put, uh, taken down and uh the day we was over there we i don't know we got not rained out but it's, it's just been wet around here we had about three hours and i told the boys i said hey let's run up there and see if we can knock a few of these stumps out you can see right here that's the one that's laid over right there, right there next to the building. And while they're kind of breaking that stuff back, I went down there and got on that little old uh, hickory stump down in the bottom. And then you can see how much slower than I'm grinding down there than I was up here. Because that old hickory hadn't been cut in about two weeks, two or three weeks. And uh, just, a, just a solid stump, you know. And we didn't have sharp teeth on this, but the other, the other stumps right here, right beyond those two pipes right there, is two big old poplar stumps you can see them there and uh we'll show you when i get into them even with some dull teeth on it we're throwing some pretty good size chips out of those uh poplar stumps right there all of them ground pretty good except that one i'm on right there and uh like i said we're just trying to fill in the day had a wet day usually on a stump job like that we don't take all three of us but we like like i said we're just trying to find somewhere to go to work and try to be somewhat productive and we've been uh, we've been trying to get up here on this job for quite a while. But, hey, folks! I know we talked about in a other stump grinding, a couple stump grinding videos that we've been having trouble with this machine with the fuel pump. We finally figured out right after I got off this stump right here. I backed up, raised that thing up, backed up. I was going I was going to take a break, eat 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 some lunch there, and uh, 
I got back there at that pumper stump and I was going to cut it off and the machine just cut off. And we fumbled that thing, fumbled with it, figured it out. Uh, you know, it, it, the, the fuel pump finally went out on, we wasn't getting no fuel. But what we didn't know, when we raised that thing up, down underneath there, the, uh, the way that thing raises up, it, it crimped the fuel line. And uh, we finally figured out what, what was going on. And when that thing would sit there and leak down after an hour or so, that it would get enough fuel there to crank it and it would run it and then it couldn't figure it out but we finally figured that out right there i just thought i'd throw that in there that um that thing that thing like chasing a ghost trying to figure that thing out because one one time it'd pump one time it wouldn't but it depend on how that thing was raised up but right here you're gonna see me get on get on this uh popper stump you'll see them chips right there how big them chips are that's the difference in that in that uh, rotten wood down there and the uh, the green poplar stumps there in that old hickory but um if you guys enjoy these videos how about hitting them buttons for us and uh, hitting that like subscribe for us and we'll see you guys on the next one